Have you ever pondered the profound impact of volcanic eruptions on our environment and human life? Picture the raw, elemental force of nature, spewing fire, ash, and gas miles into the sky. Imagine the shockwaves rippling across the globe, the repercussions felt in every corner of the planet. Volcanic eruptions are not just spectacular natural phenomena, they can have serious, far-reaching consequences for our world. From altering the climate to disrupting life as we know it, these cataclysmic events shape our reality in ways we are only beginning to understand. Now, let us delve into the startling events surrounding the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano eruption. On an otherwise ordinary day in January 2022, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano erupted violently. This wasn't a simple burst of lava and ash, no, this was a force of nature unlike any other. The Pacific island nation of Tonga had no choice but to bear witness as the eruption tore through the tranquility of the day shaking the earth and scarring the sky. The eruption was so fierce, so utterly powerful, it triggered a tsunami. Waves, fueled by the undersea turmoil, roared towards the shorelines, transforming the serene Pacific waters into a seething cauldron of chaos. The residents of the capital city, Nuku'alofa, found themselves in a world powdered with volcanic ash, a stark two-centimeter-thick reminder of the volcano's fury. But it wasn't just the water that was forced to dance to the volcano's tune. The eruption caused a sonic boom, a shockwave of sound that echoed across the island. This wasn't just a sound, it was a physical force, a punch in the air that resonated with the raw power of the eruption. It was a boom so loud, it turned communication into a game of charades, with families gesturing wildly to each other as they sought safety. The eruption didn't just unleash a wave of water and a boom of sound. It also released an unprecedented amount of water vapor into the atmosphere, enough to fill 58,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. This was a record-breaking event, a water vapor injection so immense it increased the total amount of water in the stratosphere by about 10%. The eruption's aftermath was felt not just in Tonga, but across the world. Ripples of the catastrophe stretched far and wide, making their presence known in the form of tsunami waves that reached the distant shores of Peru, New Zealand, and even the west coast of the United States. An undersea eruption of this scale is a potent reminder that the Earth's heartbeat can be felt in every corner of the globe. Now, let's bring our focus back to Tonga, to the city of Nuku'alofa, which was blanketed in a layer of volcanic ash, two centimeters deep. Imagine the eerie silence, the world turned monochrome, each and every surface coated in a fine layer of ash. The air, thick with smoke, made breathing a challenge, compelling the residents to don masks for protection. But the ash wasn't the only concern. The eruption contaminated the drinking water supplies, leaving the city's denizens with no choice but to rely on bottled water. The once vibrant city was forced to adjust to a new, grim reality as it dealt with the aftereffects of the volcanic eruption. Emergency services were stretched thin, trying to ensure the safety and well-being of the residents. The city's infrastructure was severely affected, with power supply being unstable and frequent outages becoming the norm. Rebuilding efforts commenced in earnest, with aid agencies and foreign nations pledging their support and assistance. Though Tonga bore the brunt of the eruption, it was not alone in facing the aftermath. The far-reaching effects of the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai eruption served as a stark reminder of how interconnected our world truly is of how a seismic event in one part of the world can leave a profound impact on regions thousands of miles away. Yet, the repercussions of the eruption extended far beyond its immediate vicinity. The Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano did not just alter landscapes, but also our atmosphere. When the volcano erupted, it unleashed an extraordinary amount of water vapor into our atmosphere. To give you a sense of the scale, imagine filling 58,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. 
That's the volume of water vapor we're talking about. This marked a record-breaking moment for water vapor injection since the advent of satellite data. Such a massive release of water vapor is not without consequences. The eruption dispatched approximately 146 teragrams of water to the stratosphere. This sudden influx increased the total amount of water in the stratosphere by about 10%. The water vapor released by the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai eruption does more than just linger in the stratosphere. It has the potential to temporarily affect Earth's global average temperature. How, you may ask? Well, water vapor is a potent greenhouse gas. It can trap heat, which can lead to an increase in temperature. Moreover, there's a potential threat to our ozone layer. As the water vapor could worsen the depletion of this vital protective shield, we might see more harmful ultraviolet radiation reaching the Earth's surface. However, scientists assure us that this effect should dissipate when the water vapor cycles out of the stratosphere. What makes this eruption stand out from most volcanic eruptions is that it released water vapor that can trap heat, unlike many volcanoes that cool surface temperatures. This difference can be attributed to the depth of the volcano's caldera, believed to be the cause of this record-breaking eruption. But the impact of this eruption was not limited to our atmosphere alone. While we can only speculate about the long-term environmental consequences, the immediate human impact was all too real. The explosion was so deafening that families fleeing for their lives could only communicate through gestures, their shouts swallowed up by the thunderous roar of the eruption. The psychological trauma of such an experience, the terror and helplessness, will undoubtedly leave a lasting mark on those who lived through it. But the psychological scars are not the only ones. The physical destruction caused by the eruption and the subsequent tsunami was nothing short of catastrophic. Villages, resorts, and buildings were decimated, reduced to rubble in a matter of moments. The once idyllic island landscape was blanketed in a thick layer of volcanic ash, transforming it into a desolate wasteland. Essential services were severely disrupted. The eruption severed an undersea internet cable cutting off communications and leaving the island nation isolated from the rest of the world. Power supply became unstable, with frequent outages plunging the island into darkness. Clean drinking water became a precious commodity, the volcanic dust contaminating the island's water supplies. The eruption has left the island nation grappling with a humanitarian crisis. The immediate needs for shelter, clean water, food, and medical supplies are being addressed, but the road to recovery will be long and fraught with challenges. Foreign aid has begun to trickle in, but the scale of the destruction demands a sustained and coordinated international response. The Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai eruption serves as a stark reminder of nature's power and unpredictability. The eruption has shown us that even in the 21st century, with all our technological advancements, we are still at the mercy of the natural world, that we are still vulnerable to its whims. It's a sobering thought, and one that underscores the importance of respecting and protecting our planet. There was once a day that I would pray for you, I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice.